Hello and welcome to the second Careers in the Curriculum Briefing for teachers of Art, Design and Technology subjects. In our first broadcast, we outlined several post-16 options for students interested in creative design and technology. If you want to catch up with this broadcast or just need a refresher, you'll find a link in the video description. But first, let's see what's coming up in this edition. In this edition, we will explore selected careers in greater depth and learn about entry routes and likely earnings. We'll also hear how some young people are currently progressing with their post-16 routes in your subject area. So, how can a student get real-time information on the jobs that interest them? How do they know where these jobs are and what they might pay? The Pay Index uses up-to-date market data and cutting-edge software to offer important career prospect information to schools and students. With an easy-to-use reporting suite, you can compare educational outcomes for salary and career. Plus, you can see potential earnings throughout a career via university, apprenticeship and professional routes. The Apprenticeships Reporting Suite makes it easy to discover the types of apprenticeship available in various industries across different areas of the country. If we select a career type, we can see where these apprenticeships are offered. The pie chart shows the percentages for each of the available specialisms. By selecting the level of apprenticeship of interest, you can see the annual salary available. You can also look in more detail at what is available in your local area. Select your area, level of apprenticeship and see what apprenticeships are offered. Information is also available based on current qualifications. as well as clear information about salary. Your students may be wondering whether they would like to move away to study or stay closer to home. The Pay Index helps you explore popular parts of the UK where people go to university. Now select a subject of interest. The graph changes. The taller the line, the more people headed to that region to study the subject. Here the map shows where students headed for jobs after they graduated. The darker areas on the map have the most people. You can also see how there are jobs available in lots of different areas of the country for graduates, and so students can decide if they want or need to move at all. This section allows you to choose a subject and see the likelihood of gaining a graduate job after university and how much the starting salary might be. On the graph you can also see how that salary goes up over time. This page gives a more detailed look at earnings after graduation. This is valuable information for anyone who is unsure about being able to afford to go to university based on the current student finance system. This view also shows you what your student loan repayments would be based on the rules that were in place in 2021. This page shows the different costs of living across the UK, helping young people understand how much they would need to earn to maintain the same standard of living. The Pay Index is a great tool to aid discussions on post-16 options and is currently free to use. Ask your careers lead for details on how to access the site today. Of course, data isn't the only way to explore next steps. It's also really helpful to hear real life experiences from people who have already taken those steps. So we'll do that now. So for my A-levels, I took photography, art and psychology. I really enjoyed taking creative subjects and I knew I wanted to continue to do that. And I found out about the foundation degree in art and design. I ended up taking this course, which was a year long course and one that I really enjoyed. 
I was able to learn a lot of new skills and use a huge variety of media that I had never tried before. I knew that I wasn't sure if I wanted to go to uni or not and so the foundation year gave me an opportunity to really think about what I wanted to do in my future and what path I wanted to take. Once I had finished my foundation year I decided that I wanted to do an apprenticeship. I thought that this would be more beneficial for me than going to university because I was able to then gain practical experience in the workplace and be able to use my skills in a more professional way. I'm now a few months into my apprenticeship as a junior content producer for Somerset EBP and I'm really glad that I chose to take an apprenticeship because I have learned so many new skills. So for me gaining experience in the workplace and being able to use my skills in a more professional manner um, was more important to me than getting a degree at university. I think that's really benefited me in, in multiple different ways and in the time that I've been here I've been very supported and I'm still continuing to learn and I have learned so many new skills. Thank you for watching this latest Careers in the Curriculum broadcast. If you have any suggestions for future broadcasts please do leave us a comment and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for future updates.